dragged by. <laughs> Sometimes we you don't know, prep to go in the field for a while. You kind of forget how long some things take. Hooking up the trailer was just a <laughs> disaster you saw in the time lapse, which is kind of funny. Yeah, and then just finding stuff to actually start a job. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal, but hey, the day can only go up from here, and it didn't even start bad at all. I may have just jinxed myself. Oh, I take it back, knock on wood. There we go. Now we should be safe. So we're actually starting this beautiful day, meeting with a client. I'm actually here checking out a job. Just so you guys get a better idea, you know, I'm gonna touch on landscaping every once in a while. This client wants us to quote out, tearing out this concrete, these fl this flagstone, putting in new pavers, some travertine, getting rid of all these bushes, all of the bushes, basically all this foliage gone, so we can tear out that concrete and put in pavers or travertine all the way through here. They wanna go with like a combo of a contemporary look and a native look. So hard combo because they want a linear path coming down here with like a linear line of bushes on each side to kind of really frame it in. And then they wanna go native all through here so they zero scape it. Um, pulling all the grass, uh, pulling the curbing, pulling the bushes that need more water, and then zero scaping this whole thing with more of a native look. And I'm actually gonna walk to the neighbors because they said that they like the neighbors down the street. You can definitely see why. The neighbors is crazy. Like that is some, that is a big agave. Prickly pear, Mexican fence posts. I don't even know what that agave is. You can see like, they really like the native look. It's kind of random, but it's also organized in some capacity. They got aloes in here. That's what those are. Um, those are some beautiful golden barrels. Holy cow. When you're running a landscaping company, really anything, if you're running any business, think about how to upsell things, but don't upsell things just to make more money. Upsell it and bring things up because you genuinely want to help the customer. So like the customer that I just met with, they didn't even think about the little fact that they actually look at this parking lot every single day because that's their house on the corner up there and they have to look out at all these people. So it might be considered an upcharge, but I brought up those Bougainvillea along the side of their house. So at least they get some type of privacy in between their home and the parking lot. It's your job to think through all the things that might significantly help your client and improve their experience, you know? So, you know, that's just a little tip. This is where I think we bring the greatest value at. Like, after talking to our clients like that, we do like three-dimensional models. You know what, I'm gonna roll a little clip right now while I talk about this. It's like, we spend a lot of time doing three-dimensional models, MCATing, making a really good presentation so our clients can ultimately like envision what the project is that they're purchasing. So you can see it like through this entire project, like this is pretty cool and this is what we do for every single client. So the project that you guys just saw, I will go and it's time for me to make a three-dimensional model of that project so everyone can envision the work. Just another three Timbers projects with Bradley. You guys can see this is the base that we use for patio job. Isn't that satisfying? <laughs> that was amazing. Field operator. <laughs> Our new truck. It has 7,000 miles on it. Believe it or not, it costs money. It seems to be making a weird sound. Any mechanic tell us what that strange sound is? Huh. Did you check to see if it was just a belt? Brad just called me stupid, so I don't want him to see me struggle to figure out how to open the hood. That's why you. That's why you hire people that are smarter than you. Any guesses? That's that's making a sound. Should you be able to just stick your hand in that thing? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> I've never seen that before in my life. Yours is a lot bigger than mine. All right, we can confirm 
that I did not figure anything out. In other news, uh, this new project will be fun. You guys will be able to see the whole thing on the Three Timbers channel. What are we doing? All this, tearing all the landscaping out. We're tearing out this whole sidewalk, doing pavers all the way through. All the rock gone, bushes gone, see you later. And we're all new modern contemporary planting up there with planters. Doing a parking pad, pretty great. The magic happens in the back. And yes, Brad is talking on his camera because Brad thinks that his camera is so much bigger than ours at the Mason Gang that he should just walk around with his big old fancy expensive camera while I have to walk around with this little diddly flimsy DJI. But that's okay because, <laughs> because we're gonna tear all of this out, all the shrubs, um, this old patio in here, and then we're gonna really change this over to zero scape because Arizona's running out of water. So a bunch of succulents, cactus back here, artificial turf all through here, rocking the whole thing with decorative rock. And then this house will be running at peak efficiency in the summers when this homeowner is not here. So this project, exciting. All my exercise is all wrapped up. I did all the manly things out here like spray painting trees that need to be taken out. And I'll go do the real work. The real work. <laughs> okay, bye Brad. <laughs> we'll see you tonight. It's definitely an interesting climb meeting. Sometimes you have to realize or be self-aware enough to understand what you're capable of, what you're not capable of. This client wants us to redo some landscaping or give a quote for redoing some landscaping and irrigation through out about a 200 acre property. And as much as I would love to do that, as much as we have the capabilities to do that, um, actually that's just not true, we don't. We don't have the capabilities. We would have to hire so many people to be able to get things done in their time frame. And just, I mean, look at this. Are we gonna be hiring enough people to be taking care of all of this? Replacing a bunch of plants, doing irrigation everywhere throughout these parking lots and all of these sections in here and we don't even know why they have so many pest boxes out. It's just an endless amount of snakes around here or something. It's a cool spot, but the project would probably take a group of 40 guys a month or two. Um, just be aware that if you want to provide the most amount of value possible for your client, sometimes the realization of just saying you can't do it is providing the most value for that client. We can definitely take on like a three to five acre landscape refresh, but 200 to 300 acres in a commercial building that has time constraints, give us six months. We'll be there soon. I'm gonna share something here at the end. So if you're still watching, lucky you. There will come a time 
in every person's life that you question every decision you make. You think, is it worth it? You know, it usually happens in a time of slowness or a time when you're in a financial crunch or when you're away from family or loved ones or if you're sick or you're going through something painful. You know what, right now, I'm missing home. I'm missing taking a break. <laughs> it's definitely low season for us, so we're crunched on cash while also ramping up in a different state. So it's a little stressful. And I do, I do question all of the decisions. And you know, I think that's where a lot of people give up. You shouldn't. I know I'm not going to. <laughs> because I think a lot of people hit this point once, twice, 20 times. And the natural reaction is to quit. But the thing is, the people that succeed do it every day. They feel that urge to quit and they get up and they do it again and again and again. Even if they don't feel like they're making progress, they do it again until one day things just work out. See you in the next episode.